Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back to another midweek video. How exciting. Thanks for being here. Shall we have a look? This is the gang we have so far. Spongy, Pat, Squiddy. <laughs> I've given them just little we're chums now at this point. And we're going to do Gary today. So we're using Angelic Sonata and oh, I wasn't I didn't I didn't see Royal Pink, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do ombre. I did the first coat already. I sat down, got everything out I needed. Did the first coat of ombre and then realised I hadn't even set my camera up or, or anything. I was just painting by myself. Thank goodness I realised at this point and not the end. Oh, So we're taking the Madame Glam ombre brush. Um, I think everything I'm using today is Madame Glam, which you can get a whopping 30% off at using the link in the description and the code Miss Jo 30 All the time, use it and look at the description for other... Um, discount codes as well i'm gonna, gonna try and do this voice over in one take because i'm just not in the fucking mood really um <laughs> right here we go okay let's concentrate we're starting with a circle we'll concentrate and then we'll just be silly and then another circle just overlapping it a little bit um like a venn diagram this is a another ball pit addict tutorial that i'm following um she's amazing follow her on instagram highly recommend and then from his circles, we're coming down with two straight lines. Actually, I, I make them a little bit wider at the top so that the eyeball's kind of sitting in a socket. What are we going to call these stringy bits? We'll call them stringy bits. And then we're going to do a semicircle, the top, the top of a circle, because circles have sides. Um, and then straighten it out at the bottom. So we've got this half circle and then a big curve on the side. This is going to be his shell. And this one comes from the sort of middle of his eyeball, the far eyeball, the one on the right. Yes, I did just make an L with my left hand. And then I bring it round here, but I think I end up filling that whole thing in with the shell color because mm, it's faffy otherwise. And then at the bottom, we're going to do a wiggle but then as we get to the end of the half circle, we're going to start wiggling up towards, so we're parallel with the shell line. I do make that shell a bit wider at the bottom there. Oh, and then I decided to give him a smile, which isn't in her tutorial, so who the fuck do I think I am? But let's try and give him a smile. So we're drawing a sausage, a hot dog. Um, I'm just scraping some of the mark from the half circle out because it was a bit too much brown. So I've made a, a hot dog, like a curved one. So it's a curved line and then another curved line underneath and then join them with curves. And we've got this little hot dog. And now we're taking, oh, that's the outline. We've done it. So now we're just going to fill in, but then there'll be more stuff. There'll be more stuff to come. So I'm mixing electric yellow and vivid green gel paints. His eyes are a bit more, they're more of a sort of muted green but it was really sunny. It's been really sunny here the last few days. So I was like, let's just go bloody neon. Why not? So we're going to fill in his eyes with that, maybe neatening out our circles a little bit. And then we're going to full cure it because we're going to put stuff on top. So we need to full cure. Okay, can I calm down now? I'm in so much pain today with my shoulder and my neck and my arm and my wrist and my back and my fingers and everything just nail tech injuries i'm in so much pain that i feel like i'm headed towards a shoulder replacement i know that sounds like i'm being dramatic as hell but it's um the the pain is unbearable it's 10 years of almost 10 years of hunching this particular arm and i'm 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 dying over here so I need to, I don't want a shoulder replacement though. I've been Googling. Oh, we've added hot coral dots for the eyes and we're full curing those as well because we're going to put on top of them little black dots with the black gel paint. How nice is that hot coral colour though? Hmm. Um, what's it saying? Yeah, I've been Googling. Um, can you naturally stimulate the growth of cartilage? Essentially, not really. Um, 
Now we're taking white gel paint. I told you this was going to be a one taker. You're going to have to <laughs> just get what's given to you. Um, and we're going to fill in the sausage, but then I realized the sausage was too big. So we're making it a bit smaller, um, but sticking to the same curve, um, curvature angle. The curves have angles. <laughs> the same curve, curve angle I'm going with, but just a smaller sausage. Um, and then we're going to cure that and take crystal ball, which is the same colour we used for old Squiddy Woodward back there the other day. And we're going to fill in his stringy bits. And then we're going to fill in the top of where that semicircle was underneath these. And then go around the sausage. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be talking about sausages in this video, but here we are. Uh, we're going to go around the sausage so it will come up a bit into his shell which is fine because it's in front of his shell anyway um, but yeah I was looking at a picture of him not following a, a smile tutorial so I was feeling quite brave apparently um what's his name oh I found out his real name as well I'll tell you in a minute it's hilarious his full name sorry um so here yes we're going around the sausage and then we're going up to the side in air quotes of the circle so you see I've made my circle a bit bigger at the back there not going up to that brown line um, that I painted because I need it a bit bigger and then we're going around the bottom of the sausage but now I need to move my wiggles down which we'll do when we fill it in so you can make little edits as you're filling in as long as you're filling in over what you're correcting that makes sense I'm sure and then I'm, what I'm doing here is actually just kind of stretch out the product a bit because I had a bit too much on this so and trying to sort of take off some and thin it out. And now we're taking his eye colour and we're going to do his wiggle. So it's straight under his face area and then it starts to wiggle with the um, body, let's call it, towards the back. And then I'll have to, and now I've gone over my brown wiggle so we'll just have to make this area thicker like so. Just some wiggly wiggles. I think it was fine coverage with one coat, but I, I think I did two, do two. I found out what his full name is. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's Gerald Gary Snail Wilson <laughs> Junior Squarepants. <laughs> There's one of my names in there. Uh, Squarepants, that's my name. Miss Joe Squarepants. <laughs> Mr. Square Trousers, if you will. <laughs> Miss Joe Square Trousers um, is my real name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gerald Gary Snail Wilson Jr. Sponge. No, Square Pants. <laughs> right. Now we've mixed um, in a piece with the King's Speech to make his shell colour. I said in the other video, I've got hundreds of poly gel polishes. I could probably find the colour I need, but sometimes it's nice to get a bit mixy. And I had all these colours out from doing the other um, members of the gang, uh, the other SpongeBob characters. So it was quite nice to mix colours using colours I'd used in other ones because then everything sort of stays in the same family, you know? And don't forget to fill in in between his eyes. And then this is where I thought, let's just do, do this whole section here um, in that colour. Because otherwise bringing the outline of the sh shell would have been right on the edge of the nail and would have looked a bit too fussy in that bit there. So we will fully cure that. And now we're going to take red gel paint. Love this red. And we're going to do his swirl, which isn't a perfect swirl. So I was trying to copy a picture of him so we're going to start with a C and then bring it all the way around and sort of do a C in the other direction and then it tails off downwards so it doesn't keep curling it tails off down so that's what we're going to do and we're going to thicken it up but where because it was quite thick especially at the bottom but where I've done the start of the curl I didn't want to close the gap between the end of the curl and the bit directly above it I'm pointing at it. Can you see where I'm pointing? No. So I end up, when I thicken up 
the bit that's not being thickened now. Fuck. I'm just not having a day with words. Do I ever though, really? <laughs> um, here, I'm going to start thickening it on the outside. So we're going to take this up um, so that we're not, oh, she says as she goes in a bit, um, we're not closing up the gap of the little curl at the end. There we go. And then here I'll start from the curl and go on the outside. But yeah, he did have like, it wasn't a perfectly smooth swirl either. But so I was kind of trying to do both. I was like, I won't make it perfectly smooth because it's not, but then it will look better. So my hand just kind of took both of those instructions and this is what we got. <laughs> and then I found this blurple color, which uh, this isn't Madame Glam actually. This is from a brand that doesn't exist. It did exist, then it didn't. Then it did, now it doesn't again. Um, and we're going to do little ovals that go around the red swirl as opposed to going perfectly sort of as opposed to going along the shape of his shell so we're going to tuck a little bit behind the eye um, and then on on one of them and then another one here and then I believe we get to outlining um, so we full cured everything we're taking black gel paint and this is the zero long brush from crystal nails there's another i've got a brush i've got a, quite a lot of their brushes and i need another one but the postage is fudging ridiculous um it's in the uk and the postage i think i don't know but it was po the type of postage that i was like are you kidding me it's almost the same price as the product i'm buying and then when it arrived in its tiny little jiffy bag it had the post postage price on it which was like two quid so I don't appreciate that, but I like the brushes. I outlined his eyes off camera because I tried on camera and I couldn't, I needed to hold it like right in front of my own eyes. So I had to do it off camera and then we're outlining the sausage and I'd started to outline his shell and smile. So, um, but forgetting to press record again. So we've outlined the sausage and then we'll outline these. I do bring these down into the blue a bit but I end up scraping them off. Well, scraping a little bit of them off, you'll see, just because we need to make room for his smile. So you can see where I've outlined the sausage. To the left of it, there's another curve of the side of his mouth. So that I didn't do on camera, but obviously do that. And then I'm just going to scrape off where I've come into the blue um, on the right eye string because this bit here, which was where the semicircle was, comes into the blue a bit. And then here is the other side of his mouth. So he's now got kind of lips, you know, it looks like he's got lips. Oh, showed his sausage. And then we are doing his toothy pegs. The middle one was kind of a, a pyramid with no point. Uh, <laughs> a triangle with his head chopped off. And then a smile comes in a bit underneath the string of the left eye. Someone commented the other day, like, <laughs> how are you managing to describe this? It's really, it's difficult. Um, I, I'm sure I'm doing a rubbish job, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best. And then we've outlined the wiggles and we'll outline the bottom of his smile, joining up with that curve on the left. And his body actually stays straight under his the one without a smile there's no wiggle between the blue and the green frilly bit at the bottom his slobbery bits <laughs> slimy bits um and then it wiggles where they join um as it goes back under the shell you see to the left where the blue and the green join it wiggled so we did outline between those as well the blue and the green although they aren't outlined in the actual picture of him, but I think it looks better for um, for this. And then I've mixed electric yellow with Lightborn um, because I wanted a, a pastel neon. So I kind of mixed a pastel and a neon. And then we've just doing some wiggly, wiggly flowery bits that are sort of in the background of SpongeBob staffs. And then the same at the bottom so it's kind of two S's facing each other, those wiggly flowers. It comes out and in and down. And then as the next one comes up, it comes out towards the side of the one next to it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, 
for everything, just for everything. Um, and then we're going to Velvet Top, um, Gerald, Gary, Snail, Wilson Jr., Squarepants. And there he is. He was the easiest one. Definitely try that. You don't have to add the smile, but I just thought after doing Squidward, he looked so bloody sad. I thought, let's do someone with a smile. So let's put Gary with the rest of the gang. There they are. The next video is as go isn't going to be um, a character. I've done something else because I needed to show you some Vetsy stuff they sent me. But we will be carrying on with these, even though they're not viewed that much. Give Squidward a little stroke because he's very sad. Um, but I do want to do the rest, so I'm going <laughs> to... I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think about it. Um, who do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you being here so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.